Good morning. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 2 says, Be not rash with thy mouth, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before God. For God is in heaven, and thou art upon earth, therefore let thy words be few. A very famous hat crease. Of course, I'm wearing one right now. It's called an open crown. But I'm going to show you one that's uh, very famous. One thing I love about an open crown is that you can alter your crown all the time. This is called uh, a mule kick. <laughs> I tell you one thing, when the Bible said, let your words be few, I, I really understand it because out of all the times I've ever been, been embarrassed and things I had to say, it was like getting kicked by a mule. Matter of fact, the most embarrassing thing I've ever said, uh, that both the men were saved people and they're, they're in heaven today and I'm glad there's no witnesses to the most embarrassing thing I've ever said. But you know, there's a lot of times that we talk just too much. Let your words be few, how helpful that is. And you know, I w went to school one time with a little boy and his name was Alfred. He lived in Pleasant Hill, Louisiana. And that boy uh, was messing around with a mule one day and that mule kicked him and kicked him and it put him in the hospital. Now, Alfred was a heavy set boy, he's very funny. So when he was missing out of our class for a couple of days, um, it was kind of sad. We were sad for his condition, but we just missed him. And when he came back to, to school, he was black and blue all over from getting mule kicked. And I tell you, out of all the things that I've done that has caused me grief and caused me trouble, I cannot tell you how many times it's been my mouth to get me in trouble. So let's use our words this week and during this time of crisis, a hardship of the nation to use our words for edification, to use our words to glorify Jesus Christ and to try to reach people with the gospel. This is one of the most important times of our lives to be able to reach family members and friends with good words instead of walking around feeling like I've been mule kicked because of my own brutish behavior. God bless you. I hope you have a great day, and it is truly a great day to serve the Lord. Just don't get mule kicked.